what a lovely level we have got here. Hey my little angels and welcome back to another video you guys. So anyways, we have some new items and stuff. Enjoy, thank you. That's such a cute bunny holding a carrot. So my, you're just like too cute at drawing, too cute. This is your next letter. Can't wait to see what the next thing you draw is. And we have trick versus treat, which I did guess yesterday. There, are, I, I guess like costumes versus candy or it'd be trick or treat. So it's turned out, as it turns out, it's gonna be trick or treat. <laughs> so that is cool. So anyways, we have our first ever semi-transparent fur. Honestly, I'm not that big a fan of any of these because this chain thing threw me off a lot. But apart from that, it's really cool. It's a semi-transparent fur. That's like the only reason people are getting this fur, honestly, for the most part. But like that, this, this thing threw me off. They didn't have to add that. And they simplified down this fur way too much. So that's kind of sad for this. But other than that, I mean, like, it's pretty cool. This is a candy corn fur, and this is a ghost rat fur. Then you have this, like, ribbon, winged ribbon ear item, which has, like, an eye in the middle. And this is just, I mean, okay, this one's a blurry picture, but as you can see, there's a candy, there's another candy, and there's, like, a gummy worm candy. And you have a candy corn ear item as well. And we also have a hint as to next week's Fashion Squad outfits, which I'm kind of mad at, because... We just had this demon rat fur, like the demon fur, on sale just till yesterday. No, day before yesterday. So we've already had this fur come back. You have, okay, I don't think this has a winged item. It has some sort of neck item. And it has this knife, which is on sale right now. And Elle's hair gets used way too much, which is what's being used here. So that hair just gets used way too much. And I think maybe this one has like fangs on it and maybe might have some sort of a contact lens on it. Either ways, most of the items are already out and stuff, so that's annoying. <laughs> this one, I'm not sure of the fur. Do you, any of you guys know what fur it is? It could be like the, the um, what do you call it, the bat fur maybe? Or it might just have wings as the neck item. It has maybe the bat tail as well. And as you can tell, the candy witch hat is coming back. So for a lot of you guys, it's awesome. I want the other witch hat to come back, which is not coming back. So sad. This is just like the in-shop hair, I believe. But that's so sad. Anyways, this is something that a lot of you guys might like. And that might be the bat tail item. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Does it look like a bat? But it does have a chain and it sh should be Halloween-like. So that's my guess for next week's stuff. But either ways, these are so pricey. <laughs> but the ear items, they're both ear items. We have two ear items out for this. So that's interesting. So this thing totally works together because of the candy corn and candy corn. So it's all candied. So as you can see, this is so cute. Like, did you see this? <gasps> it's a ghost or rat holding <laughs> a torch. Well, yeah, fire torch thing. And on this side, you have a pole, a lot of candies. And an arrow going through it for some reason. <laughs> Ooh, this... No, this doesn't look like a lamp. <laughs> so this is actually on sale right now, like the lamp tail item. Just saying. <laughs> So we have that, and then here is all this stuff. It's called Ghost Mouse Fur, Candy Corn Fur. You have your winged ribbon ear item and candy ear item as well. So those are what they're called. They're four different items, but so pricey this week because, let me show you, and by the ways, this map is just really awesome. So I'm like, I had to show you. Ooh, did someone whisper? Okay, never mind. No, let's get back, oh, okay. <laughs> Let's get back on. Oh, okay. It's like, nope, you shall not get back on. And it's, okay, it's not that glitchy yet. Oh, okay, never mind. It is very glitchy. It yeeted me up. Where am I? Oh, okay, cool. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Rip. <laughs> that was very glitched up. All right, let's try this again. Oh, okay, never mind. You want to stay glitched. Eh, oh well. <laughs> Cam has such amazing ones. So cool, so cool. Love it. Oh, this is also glitching too. It's supposed to be swinging boat. Why are you glitching? I can like walk right through it. There's supposed to be something here that lets me help swing this thing. Anyways, let us actually go on to the video properly now. So over here, let's zoom in. <laughs> so as you can see, this ear item, I already mentioned these. My, among these all, this combo looks really cute together, like honestly. Dressing, reset, every ear item, and you have your fur. It looks really cute together, the colors and all that matches up pretty well. 
So that's really nice to this. And then you have a semi-transparent fur. As you can see, look, you can see through the ear. So it's a semi-transparent fur, which is like really cool. Obviously this doesn't really match it. I mean, you need light colors or kind of semi-transparenty looking colors to match it. But it's on the blue range, so that's cool. And let's see. Customizations. Both the ear items are like the same. Okay. Cool. It's gonna be like yellow. Okay, good. Then you can change the inside of this. Nay, nee, red. <laughs> and then you have the outer part of the bat ear item. And you have the inside. Okay, and then for this thing, let's see. There are a lot of different customizations on this. Every single but different part of this can be customized. Can the eye thing be customized? Okay, let's just go through the whole thing. Red. I like that color, orange. Huh, okay. Oh, you can't can you can't change the eye. Th oh, the red thing also makes the inside of the eyes also the same color. Okay, interesting. White would be the tip of the candy corn. And these are these two are the candy corn colors. These two are those that one. This two is for this and the worm thing. Ah, okay, there we go. You can't change the eye color of that. That's sad. And the dark colors look a bit weird on this thing. Because, like, look at this. If you have darker, this is, like, lighter red. That's creepy. At the very least. White versus black. Yeah. I don't like it when, like, there's one color gradiented for two different things. So, I mean, it could look pretty creepy. Anyways, we have those two items, and then we have the fur. So, as you can see, they made the fur quite pricey. Okay, I get for this one because it is kind of semi-transparent, so that's a cool new thing. So I get why they would do that, but this is kind of simple. Why do you want to make it so pricey? They had to make these things equal, I guess, but that is mm, not worth it in my opinion. None of them are, but I mean, this is cute and really nice for looks, but this is the first time you have semi-transparent fur. So it's just a debate between that. Most people are probably going to get this because it's a semi-transparent fur. It looks better than this, actually. This one looks a bit too plain. Anyhow, so that's my opinion on that. Personally, if I had to choose, I wouldn't actually get any of them. I'm just, I would save it for later on. I would wait for these to come on sale at another later date. Honestly, I would just wait for it to come on sale later on. It's not that worth it. I, I don't see myself wearing many outfits with this. I'd see myself wearing more outfits with this. But the white, I don't, I'm not a big fan of furs being really white with other colors in it a little bit. It's not, it's not my thing as much. But those are just my opinions, and this is really cute, this ear item. <laughs> this one's alright. Then we have the stuff from last time. And we have three different outfits. It's mythical creatures is the theme. And at least they did something different with this, so I'm happy about that. But a lot of these items are similar. Like, this hair gets used so much. Why couldn't they use the other, um, let me show you. Dressing. Like, they have not used this other hair. It's so underrated, and it can, it should actually be used a lot more. I'm surprised it's not. It's this one. This hair right here. Personally, that hair is very underrated. They should use this a lot more. But any, anyhow, so this is a nice fur. It can be used with a lot of different looks. So, oh, by the way, this is supposed to be a gnome. This is a kitsune, and this is a fairy. And let's see, so we have this ear item, always used all the time, that you can just buy in shop. <laughs> see, I, even I already own this on my alt. <laughs> this is always a very useful neck item, which is used quite often. The hair comes so many times in the fashion, in fashion Squad outfits as well. So this is the one that I would say just go for this one, because the fur. Okay, 500 to 400, yeah. But yeah, so this is a fur that a lot of people like. It did come out before in a Fashion Squad outfit as well. So, I mean, it, it wasn't very recent, the Fashion Squad outfit, but it has come out in like the past two or three months, maybe. And then you have this eyeshadow, which is obviously in the shop. This ear item was in shop a little bit ago. So there's, it's okay. I honestly don't see myself ever using this ear item in outfits. So, I mean, that's also there. Also the neck item. This hair item is a collector, by the ways, and 
Um, it's okay, like I don't use it much. This hand item is also pretty useful. But this would be really pricey as you can see because of fur itself, they only lowered it to 400, which is the cost of most normal furs these days, sadly. And the hand item being pricey. But overall, this is a pretty pricey look and you can't lower it much. You can, this is in shops, so you can get it from that and this item, but not much. And then you have this cute one, which actually has the most useful items. This fur is very versatile. This head item is so cute, so cute. And this ear item is used again, as I told you, it's awesome that you can get in shop. It's not too pricey either. And this was on sale recently, so I'm guessing a lot of you guys already have this too. So it might make this a little cheaper. You can get this. And this, this hair item is, it is amazing. I love this hair item too. And you can, this thing you can buy in shop as well. <laughs> so you can, you can get some of these in shop and get all your favorite items. This is honestly the most worth it to buy. Like the, this fur makes this, this fur and like the hand item makes this one really useful, but so pricey. And those are like the only two main things which would be used here. Everything would actually be used. I mean, this is a store item. So I mean, it's really cheap. It's like 20 cheese or something. Not that much. Honestly, this whole thing is so cute, has all items that would be really worth it, so I'd personally go with this. Overall outfit-wise, this is a pretty cute outfit, and this is also a nice outfit too, personally. I prefer this one more though, because <laughs> that's just like my color style they like. But this outfit, honestly, with the items that it has, it would be my winner. And then if you want this fur, then there you go. And if you, as you guys know, there have been Halloween-related sales, which are going to be going on throughout this month, all collectors. But I feel like they scammed us on this one. Okay, maybe they didn't really have a fur, but there's supposed to be another item here, which is not. And there are there is speculation that there will be no Black Friday sales in November, which is really sad. We're all looking so for we're like totally looking forward to those. So that is so sad if it doesn't happen. Sadly, I have these two items. This is gonna come out next fashion squad outfit as well so i mean if you get it now you'll be saving yourself some phrase and whatever the outfit is and you if you have the demon fur there i mean you you have most of the items in that look then <laughs> you can and if you have l's hair l's hair comes out so often like people use it too often as well it's a really nice hair but so overused by the fashion squad outfit same as this one for the male ones <laughs> but this also this tail was also in a fashion squad outfit in two fashion squad outfits in the recent future recent past i think oh at least look like the 50 percent off but this pricing i mean they reduced the pricing as well we originally had four sale items and then it went down to three sale items and now it's two sale items like what's next next one sale item i really hope they fix this and they add in three sale items again at least it's supposed to be three sale items for all these halloween ones and they still haven't gotten out versus witch hat nor anything of, to do with day of the dead the fur please the mask please the pinata tail would be lovely but i'm guessing they would probably be more inclined towards the sombrero but i'd honestly prefer the pinata tail so much more <laughs> it can be used in other outfits much better than the sombrero hat but anyways i really hope they don't get out sales which are already in the fashion squad outfits next week because then it's like doubles of the same thing and a lot of them have already come out before so anyways those are my opinions on all that and i think i've rambled on way too much <laughs> in this whole video okay it's not that long of a video but i did rant quite a bit in this video <laughs> oh also i forgot to mention in announcements they did also tell us that we are going to be having a pumpkin carving contest so they did this last year as well and they're bringing it back again this year and i guess they're probably kind of restricted in terms of monetary budgets so that's why this time the prizes are actually just going to be these kind of items just like shop items and except the winner will actually get an awesome avatar size drawing by Melly so that is super cool apart from that yeah you can just get carving and submit your things through the forums or in the discord thing that's pretty much it just letting you guys know about this so it's October 14th to November 4th. That's how long this will last. And there are a total of 18 winners. First prize. Okay. First prize through mission. The absolute winner. Okay. It's the very top most will get this. But the other first prizes will get this as well. So there are a total of 18 winners, I guess. And they made it in events. If you go here, like if you don't know, oops, okay. 
So you can actually go to threads and then this is active so you can click that and then you can click join and then I'll show you all this and you can just post yours over here in Discord if you have it. If not, then you can use the forms and do that. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my goodness, that's okay, that's the past times when they've gone through. All right. Anyways, that is all I wanted to add on. Anyways, hope you guys have an awesome day. And I believe Melly did mention that the Halloween event might be coming out next week. So you can expect it to come out next week, probably. So let's see to that. And hopefully they have cool stuff at that point, too. Bye, you guys. Keep salt. As always, peace.